Okay, I promised Mulan was gonna help out with this stunt, so he's gonna have a frog shot off his head because we couldn't find any hats at the at the moment. Let's see. I'm gonna put him on his basket right there, and that'll be even more exciting. All right, you might be wondering, like, do I get nervous when I gotta do a crazy shot like this and you know shoot a hat off my friend's head or something? A shot that could result, in this case, this is Mulan, so could result in the injury of a famous Disney character. Yes, of course I'm nervous, but oh, I just take a deep breath. And then uh, if the shot is meant to be, then time will slow down and everything will slow down. And I'll, I'll watch it hit through the scope. You have to get used to watching your target hit through the scope. See, I'm going to make sure I'm perfectly level first. I can move on. See, I aimed a little bit high because I don't want to hurt my friend. So I'd rather miss. But if I would have aimed where I was supposed to be aiming, I would have nailed that frog. By the way, don't ever shoot a frog in real life because that's no reason for that. Now, if I feel the wind blowing, I'm not going to shoot, okay? I just need to relax. The most important part of uh, sniping is re being relaxed. The more relaxed you are, the better your shot's gonna be to try to, <laughs> to try to achieve total relaxation when you're sitting behind the scope right before you pull the trigger. Right over his head again. Okay, it's time for a Crow Armor accuracy testing video. So, I got these, I believe they're macadamia nuts. They're all set up, ready to shoot. Got some paper. Got some sized out pellets. Caldwell Stinger Rifle Rest. Got a target down there at 35 yards away. Although I had to hide it because my landlord came by. Okay, we're set up on a nice sunny day uh, at 35 yards exactly from my bench rest shooting position. I got... A box full of old clothes right there so that'll actually catch all my pellets real nicely and uh, I can actually use my pellets later to melt down and cast into bullets for my 50 caliber hammer that's coming along soon now right here I have some interesting characters these guys are very very small I would say that most of these are have a kill zone about the size of a penny or a dime maybe even less so just to show you how small they are let, let me put a I'm gonna put a 22 pellet next to these guys Okay, you can see I'm putting a 22 pellet right next to this guy's head. So basically that's how small they are. This guy's head are about the size of a 22 pellet right there. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot these guys at probably 35 yards. They're actually on top of this wriggle gun. I think that was supposed to say rifle gun, but I'm going to see if I can shoot the trigger off there and disable this so this bad guy right here can't shoot us while we're filming this and Mulan's gonna help us. As usual, the crawl armor is looking super fly. Now, I took off this front piece right here to mess with that LDC business, so I'm gonna go ahead and just snap this back on. It just snaps right back on. Well, that thing's not going back in there without taking the shroud out. I don't really wanna pound it in there or anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out for now. Okay, you can see my nanometer right here. It's uh, still totally in the sweet spot right there, so I'm probably just going to leave it there and keep on shooting. I think I've shot uh, 20 or 25 shots out of here, so this is going to have a really good shot count.
Yeah, these right here are dinner mints. They're a little smaller than a dime. 35 yards away. Okay guys, you're very lucky today because I ran out of pellets and I have to open this package to get a 10 of 22 caliber JSP pellets out. I didn't want to show this to you guys just yet, but looks like it's coming out so I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Looks like I got a couple tins of 20 caliber JSP Diablos for my Sheridan pistol, that's 20 cal CO2. These are the ones I like to use right here, 18 grain, and I remember I only paid about seven dollars for this whole thing at my super secret place. I'm not sure why I ordered these because it was a long time ago, but these are 33 grain, so these are like twice as heavy as these. So we'll have to see. Maybe those would do good in a Huben K1, if you know what I'm saying. Now this gun right here. I'm sorry, guys, it's not available. I bought the last one. It's 30 caliber, single shot. Y'all ready for this? Someone asked me if I could have any air gun in the entire world, what would it be? Pick one. This is what I came up with right here. If I ever have to make a shot that really counts, I'm taking this one. What the hell is that? That right there, my friends, is a FX Boss 30 caliber single shot field target version. Giant 500cc bottle. Lothar Walther match barrel and I'm hoping that's a big fat moderator on there So this is a single shot which is what I would want to do anyway for supreme accuracy And this basically is the field target version of the boss. So it has this Olympic rifle style Furniture on it. Let me get this out of the package real quick. Okay guys This right here is a field target version of the boss 30 caliber. I changed the annual so we can get some sunlight on there Get a little better shot. So yeah, this is 30 caliber, single shot. Cost me quite a bit of money. Anyway, I saw this, I grabbed it, and it was the last one, or one of the last ones, because they don't have any more anyway. But I was super lucky to get this. Just zoom in here so you can see some of this awesomeness. So yeah, basically, uh, I thought I was going to be doing a government-sanctioned ground squirrel eradication program. That didn't turn out to happen, but I bought this specifically to nail ground squirrels out to 100 yards. So the FX Boss was designed specifically to shoot long range, 7,500 yards. So they only make it in one caliber, the 30 caliber. And so I already have a bunch of 30 caliber pellets from what I bought at Adamon, 30 caliber, and ended up returning it because it had a scratch on it. So anyway, I'm really uh, looking forward to shooting this. Hopefully it's going to be quiet with that giant whatever that is. Hopefully that's an LDC on there. And boy, if that was threaded on the end, which it looks like it is, I'll put a uh, 30 caliber Hugo on top of that and this thing will be like silent killer. That'll be great because if I do go hunting I won't be giving away my position. I can take out more ground squirrels or whatever I happen to be after that day. So yeah I just thought you guys might like to get a gander at this and uh, I'll bust it out again later and we'll do a full review on this and hopefully make some super awesome videos with it as well. So that's my favorite gun. But the reason we are here today is for this awesome gun right here, and this is the Crow. Well, Crow armor right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm out here on a pretty beautiful day with the Crow puncher armor, and I'm gonna try to shoot 50-yard group down here. That's exactly 50 yards to the T, according to my $99 Walmart rangefinder, which I trust completely. So yeah, I'm gonna I got some brand new 18 grain pellets. I'm gonna run them through the sizer real fast and uh, start loading up my single shot tray. Let's see what this baby can do at 50.
Okay, I like to, these are all sized now. I like to mess with my pellets and, and grab them and everything. Always off paper, a piece, of nice clean piece of paper so I don't get fuzzies or any kind of dirt on my pellets. So I didn't wash these pellets. I just sized them. I didn't weigh them. So uh, that's what I usually do. So let's go ahead and see what we can do at 50 yards. Okay, my target's 50 yards away. And uh, for any of you that don't know what parallax is, this is a side parallax wheel on my Hawkeye. So sometimes the parallax will be up here, but on the nicer scopes, it's on the side. So you can see that mine right there is set at 10 yards. I'm going to go ahead and put this to 50, and I'm going to show you what it's going to do to my picture. Okay, that might look pretty clear, but look when I put it to 50. Okay, now you will be able to see with the parallax adjusted, everything's nice, crisp, and clear right there. You should be able to see your reticle real nice and also your target. So it's not a perfectly calm day, but I can kind of tell how fast the wind's blowing by when my target blows around. And so what I usually do is just kind of wait till the wind stops blowing for a second and then pull the trigger. So this is one of the best ways to make a target. It's very safe. You fill a box up with old clothes or fabric. And the cool part about that is it's quiet, but the very coolest part is that it catches all your pellets. And there, um, there's some really neat striation patterns on them actually that I'll show you later. So I can catch all my pellets in there, dump them out at the end, and then uh, all these pellets that I paid $16.95, you know, for, for 200 of them or whatever, I can take those and recast them into, for sure, 50 caliber bullets for my Umarex hammer, but also, you could really cast uh, any size slugs if you wanted to, so it's a good way to save your lead. Okay, this is a pretty good bullseye for 50 yards away. So basically, a lot of these shots kept going in the same hole. So I had like, let's say, five, six, seven shots in this hole, two, three at least in that hole, probably four in this hole, a few in this hole. And then uh, I'm gonna count how many shots, but I must have taken 15, 15 shots at least, maybe between 15 and 20 shots and I started at 190 bar, okay, not 200, because it kind of hits the sweet spot at about 190. So I started about one notch down, 190 bar, and shot about 15 to 20 shots. They all went in this one little, this is a 50 cent piece for sure, because that's a dime right there. So they all went in this. A lot of them, most of them went in the same hole, so who knows, that group might be able to be tightened up by some more skilled shooting. Anyway, then after about 20 shots, they started hitting down here and then they started consistently hitting down here so basically I got 20 sweet ass shots 50 yards and then it kind of dropped off and started hitting down here so not bad at all okay this right here is a quarter so I'm going to show you what my group looks like 50 yard group now we're not going to count these because these right here were after the 20 shots that were like in my sweet spot so basically there it is 20 shots almost inside a quarter at 50 yards and the wind was blowing okay you see my nanometer right here now you just watched me put 25 shots into that 50 yard target when i started i was halfway in between the uh first and last notch and those are 20 bar per notch and so i was at 190 bar when i started and then now it looks like i'm at about 160 bar so I went down 30 bar and that's when my point of impact started to change when I got about 25 bar down. So basically, if you want to keep dealing with your point of impact changing, then you can just basically adjust where you're aiming and it looks like you're going to have another 20 shots out of there. So not bad. Okay guys, this is uh, concluding my review accuracy testing on the Crow Puncher Armor. So just a few facts about this bad boy. Comes in 177, 22, and 25 you're going to get a pretty decent amount of shots per fill. I'd say around 20 uh, right in the sweet zone. Probably more than that if you want to deal with a changing point of impact. Operates at 200 bar, 3000 PSI, 280cc tank. Comes with two Marauder style magazines and a single shot tray. So this 22 right here holds 12. Probably the 25 holds 10 and the 177 holds 14 rounds. 
has an adjustable cheek piece. I actually took mine off because even with the little teeny riser mount here and some medium tall rings, my scope still wasn't tall enough to get a comfortable picture. So I had to take this off and get my cheek right down to the metal there. No big deal. But definitely you'd probably want to get a tall riser mount or some pretty tall rings if you're putting your scope on there. It also comes with this removable grip right here that you can slide right over the Picatinny rail right there or you can use this for a bipod or a laser. So overall I'd say I'm impressed with the puncher armor. Definitely the cool factor is off the charts. Super cool. It has extra magazine storage right here. So you can store an extra magazine in your butt right there. Very handy. I like the single shot tray. Really uh, easy to shoot accurately with a single shot tray. The accuracy was good, okay? I put seven to 10 shots. I think I shot seven for my 35 yard shooting. I put them all in the same hole. Uh, one half, half inch dime size group at 35 yards, no problem. And I could do it many times. I did it two or three times. And if you watch the pellet clipping video that I made, it's about four minutes long. Um, I actually put 10 in the same hole at 35 yards. That's no problem. And then at 50 yards, I did about a 50 cent piece size group while it was windy. So definitely this is pretty good accuracy. You know, definitely worth, it's only $569. So it's closer to 550 than 600. So it's a good deal. Um, I'd say a crawl is sort of on level with hat sand, but maybe a little better. Yeah, you know, this will cost you maybe a hundred bucks more than a hat sand bull boss or something like that. And I'd say it's worth it. You're definitely getting your money's worth. You know, it's good on accuracy, on par with most PCPs, quarter, 50 cent group size at 50 yards, half inch group size every time at 35 yards. So uh, not too shabby. So I'd say, yeah, if you're looking for a, a cool PCP, definitely think about grabbing a puncher armor. I like mine, but uh, it's time to go ahead and send this guy down the road. I'm going to put him for sale on Airgun Classifieds, and I think I'm going to use the money to buy a Marauder field target version, and from Crossman Custom Pro Shop, I think they call it, Crossman Custom Shop, you can get the field target Marauder with a Lothar Walther match barrel. It's the only place you can get it with the match barrel for, I think, $6.99. So I'm going to sell this bad boy, try to get $5.50 out of it, and go ahead and... Uh, order that new regulated Marauder field target version and we'll be in business. So thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next time. Happy shooting. Check that, I just made my, my reticle red. Oh, that's crazy looking through the scope. Thank you.